Hello and welcome to Encryption, the Tech Tips and Tutorials channel. In this video, I'll show you how to transfer all data such as Google Drive files, docs and emails from one G Suite or Google Workspace account to another. Let's get started. I am logged into the Google Admin Console with the admin privilege. You can reach the Google Admin Console by typing in admin.google.com in a web browser and providing correct credentials. For this demo, I have three users. This one is admin and two normal users. I'll use this user support at networkheroes.txt drive as a source from which all the data will be transferred to the destination account that is maintenance at networkheroes.txt. Also, this is the source account's mailbox. I will migrate everything from this source account to the destination account which in my case, as I already mentioned, is maintenance at networkheroes.tech. The destination drive is currently empty, but it doesn't matter if it has content, as the transfer creates a separate directory with the source email address. Also, there are no mailboxes here on the destination account. Again, it's okay uh, even if you already have emails here on the destination account, as the transfer is not going to hamper this account in any way except there might be a storage uh, consumption if you have so many emails in the source account. In the source accounts drive, I will upload some files and folders. The upload is going to take a few minutes, I will be back then. Ok, the upload is complete now. Now we have some data on the drive and some emails in the mailbox. We will learn how to safely transfer or migrate or move them into another account. First of all, I am going to transfer the ownership of the drive so that the drive content is moved over to the destination account. For this, I need to head over to the Google Admin Console. Click on the apps from the left side menu. Click on the drive and docs under the Google Workspace. And scrolling down a bit, uh, you will see the transfer ownership section. This allows you to transfer ownership of one user's file to another user, which is especially useful when deleting a user. As you transfer ownership of the Google Drive content and emails, you can delete the user to save your monthly cost. Click on the section to open it. Here, from user refers to the source email address, which in my case is support at networkheroes.tech. The destination user is maintenance at networkheroes.tech. And click on the transfer files. Finally, verify the source and the destination user emails and click on the OK button. The transfer is in progress. After it is complete, you'll get an email notification. After some time, go to the source account and check if all the drive folders, docs, sheets and slides are transferred to the destination account. In my case, the transfer is already complete and I don't see anything here. Also checking the inbox of the source account, we can see a new email which notifies about the transfer. Now let's go to the destination mailbox. Here too we can see the email notification which tells exactly the same about the transfer as it was on the source account. Let's check the destination drive. Here we can see the drive content is transferred here and all the contents are in separate folder named with the source email address. If you double click on it, you will get all the drive contents here that was transferred from the source account. Now that you have learned how to transfer everything from a user's drive to another user's drive, let's move on and learn how to migrate the emails. Like the drive and docs, if you click on the Gmail section here, you will not get anything like transfer Gmail ownership or something similar. So on the Google Admin Console, on the left side menu, you should find Account. And click on the 
data migration then click on add user here if you go through the instruction and information you will know what exactly is the process of migration what is the source email what is the destination email and so on i will type in the source email and click on the authorize button then i will either click on the source account or i will need to click on the use another account if it's not listed here provide the credentials uh, if it is asked and click on the continue button after you authorize the migration you will need to type in the destination workspace email address and then click on start the migration status is initializing now you should come back here and check the status once the migration may take some time depending upon the number of emails and their size After it is complete, you will see the status as complete. Finally, to verify, go to the destination mailbox and check. As you can see, initially the destination mailbox was empty, but it has some emails that were just migrated from another account now. Now you are safe to delete the user from the Google Admin Console as you have migrated everything from that user. Although you have uh, migrated the emails, you can still see them on the source and destination accounts. Upon deleting the users, everything will be deleted as well. Okay friends, this is how we can transfer everything from Google Drive and Docs from one Google Workspace account to another. That's all in this video. I hope it was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.